y'all, I'm starting off already moisturized. I did, I did that off camera. I'm just applying my foundation and watching Power. I'm starting over from season one. I'm using this brush today because one, I need to clean my beauty blender. And two, because I'm pressed for time and I don't have time to be like patting stuff into my face. Like I don't have time for all of that. I'm trying to get this done quick. My homies, my friends are, we're going bowling. Dang, I was supposed to color correct first, but I'm gonna do that now, it's not a big deal. I mainly just wanna color correct like in the mustache area. Now I'm gonna set put my, found, my concealer, sorry. I'm trying a new strategy now. So my goal is this, and maybe if I say it out loud, I'll actually remember to do it. I don't wanna keep blending my concealer all the way out over here onto the sides, and I wanna make the product stretch. Like, I just don't wanna waste it, and I, I realize I don't need as much as I usually use. I'm not gonna use as much of this as I usually do because it ends up being like, in my opinion, way too bright. The less you use, honestly, it, it just works out. It'd be working out without having to use a whole bunch of products. So yeah, now I just have to blend this out. I'm gonna use this brush. Now that that's done, I'm gonna try to blend it out with my Kabuki brush. I wanna blend it, but like not over blend cause I have a tendency I feel to over blend. And it kind of defeats the whole purpose of blending. I mean, like putting the product there if you just end up blending it all the way out. I'm going to reapply some here and then I'm probably going to let it sit for a little bit. I think in the meantime, I could do my eyebrows. I know everybody say it, but I really do be focusing so hard on my eyebrows when I'm like crunch for time. Like it's so hard to talk and do it. I just be like so stuck. So this show power is crazy. Like this man really just up the girlfriend on his wife and like he was kissing her in public and stuff it's just like dang you don't got no respect no respect at all i stole this from jackie you take a bronzer you put it here it just defines that area I probably shouldn't do my eyes first because of the fallout, but my products don't usually get a lot of fallout, so I should be okay. looking so panicked while I'm doing my makeup I'm really focused because I really hate how I do my eyeshadow so I'm trying really really hard right now guys I lightly dabbed in the, the medium color and the dark color of my contour palette and I say it lightly, but it still came out. It's okay, I'm gonna just blend it. I just wanted to give it a little depth. My facial expressions be like so crazy. I'm trying to follow this tutorial, child. So that's why I'm using the colors I'm using. too fast chill out dang slow down she said this one is only for the advance so when you see it, it came out crazy that's that's why it came out crazy because i'm not advanced and i'm trying to advance things i need to stay in my lane but i'm doing what i'm what i want to do all right she put see what she was using her own palette the literally the jackie Ina palette and she used a really bright shimmery color I don't really want to do that. I'm going to use like a goldish 
color because I'm not going for like green like she was doing, but that's what she was going for. Y'all, it's not, it's not staying the bright color. I like it because I don't want it to be too bright because that would be very extra. But at the same time, like, I want it to show up. That's why I'm doing it crazy, you know? I probably should have put, like, some more concealer right here first. This is spreading it pretty good. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what I did besides, like, smudge it on, smear it on, and... Somehow that helped. I tried to blend it out and really I ended up just spinning it around. I'm going to take like a reddish peachy, not peachy, but like red to like blend this part out. Give it more depth again because I don't want the gold to make everything else get lost. And I don't want to do the dark color, the brown or anything because I don't want to make it too like, I don't know why I want to say like draggy or something. I don't know. That's not really the word I was going for, but... I don't really know what word I was going for. At this point, I think this is dry enough to where I can like blend it out. So the advice that I was given, not advice, the advice that I found from the, the videos that I watch is that you blend the outside of the concealer, the under eye concealer, like more times so that it's more like a seamless transition. But then right over, like if you have a bag under your eye, you don't blend as much over that part. And so if you notice when I started blending it, I started at the edges. And so I'm blending the edges out first. And now I'm just like, you know, getting closer up on it. And like I said, I probably shouldn't have done this after my eyes. This this definitely is a step you would do before your eyes. But because of the type of time that I have, I was like really concerned about getting my eyes done. So that's why I did those first. Cause that would have taken me the longest cause I don't know what I'm doing. Whereas this, I know what I'm doing. It's not that hard to blend out. It doesn't take that long, shall I say. I don't know why I was forgetting what to do next. <laughs> I'm just sitting here looking at myself until I figured it out. Now, I be messing up on contouring sometimes. I'm not even going to front with y'all. Sometimes I be contouring like it be wrong. The angle of it be wrong. I be putting too much. So I'm going to be very careful this time. And like go start slow and build if necessary. So here's the thing. I really like contour. I like it. I like the idea of it. I like the look of it. I, I just like it. I like to do it. That's like one of my favorite parts. But I go overboard. And so, like I'm going to underdo it and see if I like it just as much. I mean, right now it looks like I like it. I feel like I do. I'm going to give y'all angles. Hopefully it looks good on camera because sometimes I'll be turning my head and it'd be like, ooh, girl. I left off with the powder. I gotta brush that off. Any excess powder. It shouldn't be much of anything, but just in case, I'm gonna use the peachy color today because I just like it. I'm also trying to be careful with this too. My, my thing now, I just have to be very, very cautious of my placement of things. Um, what angle I'm placing them in how far inward or down I'm placing them. Highlight is one of those things. It's like, you know, people love a lot of highlight and I agree I'm one of those people, right? But um, at the same time, I wanted to complement my contour. I'm gonna do an inner crease color.
to be just overall, like I said, more cautious and like just take more time and care. Like once I get the skill set and like I actually like got it, got it. Not just like know what to do, got it, but know how to execute it, got it. That's when I can rush. You know what's sad is I don't even know what to do to fix this. Like I'm really, really blown away right now. I, I don't even know what to do. Like, wow. I'm kind of proud of it. I think it looks really good. I do. I think I'm done.